and welcome. I'm Elaine Tatum with the David Siddons Group, and today we're going to be exploring four of the newest pre-construction projects in the Fort Lauderdale area. You know, at the David Siddons Group, we are independent analysts. So we will be going through and looking at the best lines, looking at the views, looking at the locations, so you can better determine which project is the right one for you. Now let's get to the projects. So here we are at Andare, located right on Los Olas Boulevard in downtown Fort Lauderdale. We're very excited to present this project. I'm here with Gigi Giusti. Gigi, tell us about Pininfarina and who the team is that's developing Andare. So this is gonna be a project by Related Group, and this is the first project that is coming to downtown Las Olas in about 20 years. That's so exciting, yeah. It's so exciting. Um, we love that it's this one. Um, it's a very highly anticipated project, so uh, we've had a great success already with sales, even though we've only been open a couple weeks. Pin and Farina is going to be designing the building. Uh, they're best known for creating some of the most iconic luxury All my cars. favorites. All my favorites, too. <laughs> for the audience that doesn't know, who did, <laughs> what did Pin and Farina design? They were responsible for the first design of the first Ferrari. Maserati, Rolls Royce, they've done all high-end luxury cars, designed a lot of them. So what makes Andare distinctly different is that this is a designer-led project, not a hospitality-led project. So I am sure that all of the details will be really thought through when it comes to the living spaces, your common areas, mm -hmm. and everything else. So this is a very amenity-rich building. Outside of the first level, that is mm -hmm. going to have a spectacular restaurant beautiful lobby entrance. We have 35,000 square feet of amenity space between the 10th and 11th floor. We have some amenities in this building we haven't seen before, uh, which I'm really excited about. We have cold plunge pools inside a full mm -hmm. spa. We have pickleball courts. We have three separate pools. Uh, one pool will be on the 10th floor west side. And then we have two pools and a jacuzzi on the rooftop of the building as well. So you will have full 360 degree panoramic views from that rooftop. So let's talk a little bit about the project. We have 163 units here. They are all flow through units. Our favorite line with the David Siddons Group is this southeast corner unit. It's a flow through that actually wraps around the building on the southeast corner. This is an incredible four bedroom unit with an entry price point of 2.6 million and about 2,500 square feet. So you've got that ample space, you'll have incredible views, as well as will every other unit at Andare is this east facing side of the building has no obstructions with views to the ocean. This is a very popular project right now. Please give us a call and we're off now to the next project. Thank you so much and thank you Gigi for thank having us here today. We hope to see you soon. Hello everyone. Well, we are at the Pier 66 now and I am revisiting this project because they just released a new tower which is part of the completed project. This project is located on the Intracoastal in Fort Lauderdale and it stands as a beacon to the waterways of Fort Lauderdale. This spired tower has inspired and welcomed visitors here for decades and it is an iconic fixture within the yachting industry. The team behind the Pier 66 is the Tavistock Group and they are very keen on keeping the legacy of the Pier 66 alive, as it has welcomed boaters from around the world, as we mentioned, for decades. The Pier 66 is going to come complete with a 164 slip marina. Not only will you be able to have yachts in the marina, but there are 5,000 linear feet around the project for those larger yachts. The Pier 66 is going to be a very special place for yachting enthusiasts. The project is comprised of four towers. You have two Dort Villa towers and two 11-story, each with 31 units, the condominium towers. This is Azul. This has already been released. I'm introducing to you today Indigo, which will be released by the end of 2024. 
Indigo actually will have only 30 units because the developer has decided to combine the penthouse level into a spectacular unit which will have panoramic views of the ocean, the intercoastal waterway, and of course the marina and resort features of the Pier 66. Our best line at the Indigo Tower is going to be this northwest corner line. The reason why we selected this, they're all the same. I wanted to let you know, they're all three bedrooms, three and a half baths, they're all corner units. But this line, you are guaranteed unobstructed views of the waterways. The entry level pricing for the Northwest corner unit will be 5.5 million. And key point to mention is the combined penthouse here will be going for 15.5 million. So this is spectacular indigo, and this is our preferred line. We also have 30 acres of amenities, 8,000 square foot private resident only fitness area, as well as a resident only pool and a resident only restaurant. Any questions that you may have, please let me know. There's lots to tell. We are now at the Waldorf Astoria. Lisa and I are here at the beach. We are so pleased to present the Waldorf Astoria. This legendary brand is now in Pompano Beach and as you can see, directly on the sand. So what will the Waldorf Astoria be bringing to Pompano Beach. What can you tell us about the team and the amenities? It is very special because it is the very first standalone residence only Waldorf Astoria worldwide. This is very important. We are very proud to partner with the Waldorf Astoria. The developer is the related group the largest developer in South Florida, along with Miramac. And the design team is BAMO, which is out of California. They are spectacular. The team sounds really terrific, and I know that they are very pedigreed. What can you tell us about your unique amenities that are coming with the Waldorf Astoria? This is a very special property mm -hmm. because it has 32,000 square feet of amenity space. There's 20,000 square feet of exterior and 12,000 interior, all located on the fourth floor. It's completely private. It's an exclusive property for residents only. And then you have the Waldorf Astoria brand managing the property as if you're a resident in their hotel with all services and amenities, including a restaurant for owners only, these are the standout amenities now. Yeah. That's right. A grab and go restaurant next mm -hmm. to it. Their signature Peacock Alley Lounge where you can have light bites and a bar. You'll have beach attendants, pool attendants, of course. You'll have two level beach cafe on the southeast corner. This is open to the public as well as another restaurant in the northwest mm -hmm. corner. The restaurant that's private for the owners only will be open certain days of the week for lunch and dinner. But that is not all of the signature amenities that you can find here because there is a beach to boating aspect that also comes as part of this project. Tell us about that. That's very exciting because many people want to have a lifestyle on the water. Mm -hmm. We have a yacht club membership that's given to all of our owners and with this membership they can rent yacht for the day, a multi-day, go on a trip and they're 55 feet and larger and they're staffed and taken care of. All of the worries that come along with ownership are eliminated. For all of you out there that already own a boat, you know what we're talking about when we say you can cast your worries away when it comes to a yacht and the enjoyment of the boating lifestyle when you're here at the Waldorf Astoria. I'm going to give everyone an overview now of what our favorite line is in the building. So the project is going to be comprised of 28 stories. There are actually three ocean facing units. The two ends, the north and the south sides are flow through units and each offer spectacular views of the beach and the waterways. The central unit there is a three bedroom unit with a two bedroom unit on the other side. 
these happen to have the beautiful ocean views. So the best line that we've selected at the Waldorf Astoria is going to be the O2 line with direct ocean views. Why not have a direct ocean view when you're at the beach? This will be a three bedroom plus den, so it could feel like a four bedroom, and you're going to have 2,900 square feet of living space, and the entry price point for the O2 line is going to be 4.1 million. Welcome to Rosewood Residences. I'm here with my good friend, Bonnie Heatzig, and she is going to tell us about the team. So this is a project uh, where the developers are the related group, mm -hmm. Desert Development, two of the largest real estate conglomerates in the country, powerhouses. And then you have Rosewood Residences, which is among the highest echelon of resorts around the world. Piet Boone, who is the interior designer for many of the Rosewood global mm -hmm. resorts. Mm -hmm. You have some very special amenities here that set you apart from the rest of the projects that we are highlighting today. Rosewood Residences is sited mm -hmm. on over 11 acres. It is a resort compound. All of these fabulous amenities mm -hmm. are exclusive to the resident owners. It's not open to the public. There. Well, some of the points that I love to, that stand out to me are the fact that you do have two towers. They're very distinct, but they're really boutique in size. Yes. So you've got a 10 story beach tower that's only got 70 residences. And these are estate residences. Okay. And then as you move across here, you have your wonderful intercoastal waterway villas. Truly will feel like a home. Even some of those residences have two car garages that you can pull in yourself if you want to. And it's remarkable. Walking from the garage into your residence, the lanai, the ground floor, enjoy front doors. So as if you are in a single mm -hmm. family home, you have a beautiful private pool, 13 penthouses. Each of those penthouses have their own private rooftop space with a pool, a yes. lanai, summer kitchen. So this really is, right. as far as livability, the indoor and outdoor aspects of the livability here at the Rosewood is something a little bit distinctive than what I've seen in some of the other projects. Yes. Also distinctive, not only is it on over an 11 acre location, you do have the ocean, so you get the beachfront, and you also have the intercoastal waterway, so you're going to have the marina lifestyle. So tell us right. about that. I mean, it's just extraordinary to really be able to find a parcel that is large enough that encompasses ocean and direct intercoastal. Mm -hmm. So we do anticipate dockage, um, and probably around 15 slips is what we expect. We're in that process now, uh, but it is covered in the prospectus private restaurant for the exclusive use of the residents as well as tennis padel court pickleball and a racket it's a full racket club a full yes, suite of racket club so there it's like yacht club racket club and beach ocean club, club. Ocean exactly club, all <laughs> in one so this is a very exciting project so getting now down to the nuggets as far as the residences go Tell me what the entry level pricing is for the oceanfront residences. So here. we start direct oceanfront residences at over 1,500 a square foot, okay. between 1,561 a square foot right now. So now we're going to go through the best lines at the Rosewood residences. This is the Ocean Tower, and the best line at the Ocean Tower is the O1 line. You will have unobstructed views of the ocean. That's 53 linear feet on the ocean side. A wraparound terrace, and you will have a spectacular 104 feet on the intracoastal side of these residences. There are five bedrooms, plus staff quarters, plus a family room. They incorporate everything that the Rosewood residences are known for. And for that reason and those views is why we've selected this to be the best line in the Ocean Tower. So next we're going to have, of course, the best line here at the Intercoastal Tower. The best line here is going to be this Southwestern 
unit. The residence is here. They actually have also terraces on both sides. So you have a resort view and a full intercoastal view here. Each of these residences comes with private pools. So you have the lanai level with the pool, but they also come with incredible outdoor living space. So the residence on the second level will have this complete outdoor lanai pool, summer kitchen, as well as the penthouse level, will have this huge space here as well for personal space on the outside of the residence. These are four bedrooms with a staff quarters, with a den, with a family room. These will really feel like a home and they are averaging somewhere in the $11 million range for the reason of the views that are unobstructed of the intercoastal this is our selection for best line. So that's a wrap. You have just seen the best four new pre-construction projects in the Fort Lauderdale area. If you're looking to make a better decision and considering buying, give us a call. We know everything about these projects and we'll help you make the expert decision. Thanks for joining us and we look forward to seeing you next time.